This is a completely different type of question. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. This is slightly angry, uh, slightly angry Lugia. Lugia. I don't know. That's their name on Twitter. Why do sodium and chloride, two extremely toxic and harmful chemicals, combine to form normal table salt? <sighs> this is the beauty of chemistry. So you think that a thing's properties <clears throat> are somehow inherent mm -hmm. in the thing. But the property is what manifests after you combine it with whatever else. So, so you combine sodium, which is a lethal metal that you can cut with a knife. That's how soft it is. And it reacts violently with water. Add that to chlorine, which would poison you if you breathed it. Mm -hmm. Okay? And put them together and you get completely necessary table salt for necessary for the life. So when you put them together, the, all the chemistry, it's a new chemistry. It's a new thing. Don't think of it as I need, uh, it probably has some of those properties it used to have. No. All that matters is what are its electrons doing when they talk to your electrons? And if the configuration is different, that's all that matters. And the electrons that manifest themselves to you in table salt are differently configured than the electrons that manifest themselves to you as either sodium or um, <clears throat> chlorine. And for me, the best way to say this, I, I had a little paragraph in this in, my, in one of my books. It was, <clears throat> let's take hydrogen. Hydrogen is explosive. If you have a ball of hydrogen and light a match to it. So is Mexican food. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> clarification in case we didn't. <laughs> so hydrogen will explode if you light a match to it, a ball of gaseous hydrogen. Oxygen promotes combustion. If you have a flame and add oxygen to it, it'll burn faster. Mm -hmm. Combine hydrogen and oxygen, you get water that puts out flames. There you go. You know, it reminds me of, it reminds me of George Carlin's old bit about Halfway dirty words. Oh, words aren't dirty until they're put together. Oh, okay. You know? So he had a follow on to the seven dirty words? Well, this was halfway dirty this words. Is, this is old, great material. Mm -hmm. But he said, uh, cock isn't a dirty word, it's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you go to the dentist and, or the doctor and they give you a sucker, uh, okay. <laughs> but when you put them together, you got a bad word. <laughs> bad. <laughs> okay, so good point. So alone, those words mean things. You put them together, it means something else. Yes. Entirely. Yeah. And so I, I think you can only get nice words that combine make bad words. I don't yes. think you can take bad words that combine make a non-bad word. Yeah, no. Is well, that... I mean, you know, it's the same. It's the opposite. Well, maybe, maybe you, a jackass. Um, that's but Jack is not a bad word. Ass is kind of like a vulgar it's a word. donkey. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing. Once meaning is everything yeah. in language, and if two words together have a different meaning, you know, deal with it. Don't say, wait a minute, take it apart, and those have their own separate meanings. Therefore, the word together has it. No, that ain't how it works. So it's the same as the sodium it's, and the chloride. Exactly the same as the yeah. sodium and the chloride. But it works in the opposite way. Exactly. <laughs> Where sodium and chloride come and come form together and make something nice. And make something beautiful. <laughs> yes. yes. Gotcha. See what I did there for you? Mm -hmm. You're welcome, kid. So what else you have? Let's see. Raul Sala Naranjo uh, at Lo... You can do better than that. Like, Try that on, again. Uh, Raul Salara Naranjo. Okay, Naranjo. Right. Naranjo. <laughs> Naranjo. Now, listen. It's on Twitter. What am I doing? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. No, it's not a good question. Not a good question. Okay, well, or 